This choir in this past year remained strong. We couldn't gather in person as we normally would, or as audiences or as singers, but we could continue offering the programs that we do in meaningful ways virtually. And this taught us many things, and there were some surprise gifts to that. One is the effectiveness of adding visuals as they're edited in, adding human faces to the messages that we sing about. The surprise use of different venues with small groups as we safely recorded those portions of those programs. But most importantly, the huge broad reach that these programs had nationally because of the accessibility of virtual programming like that. We're going to continue those as a part of what we do from now on. We will continue to offer these virtual programs alongside of what we do in person. This time apart has taught us many things. One thing is that we must savor. We can savor the freedom to getting together as audiences or choir and do participatory programs. There is a lot of pent up energy right now to get together and sing for churches who have been silenced and not allowed to sing together, there is a huge longing and desire to do that. So we want to be there and be there strong to offer that as an option for people, to give those people who from churches have been silenced the opportunity to sing hymns again together with us. We also can savor this earth as a huge gift of God, as a living and breathing gift of God. To that end, we get to premiere a new work, Lament of the Earth, with text by Susan Palo Cherwin and music by Steve Heitzig, which we commissioned. And it makes a profound statement of this huge gift of the Earth, and the Earth is a living, speaking being. We'll also bring that gift to the Pacific Northwest. There's an intense sense of the care of the Earth in that area, so we want to bring that to them. And this also helps energize the choir in its mission when we bring it out and about beyond our own geographic area here in the Twin Cities. We care deeply about singing. It can be done and it can be done safely. And we absolutely care for the creation of the earth that God give us. Amen.